Art, as we know it, takes on many forms and dwells in many houses, some steeped in tradition, like galleries, the stage, museums. Others are, shall we say, not quite so traditional. Is fly casting an art? The protagonist in Norman McLean's novella, A River Runs Through It, recalls his minister father saying, it is an art that is performed on a four count rhythm between 10 and two o'clock. But to the novice, fly casting and a lot of other outdoor pastimes are often shrouded in mystery and tinged by fear. Fear of failure, fear of embarrassment. McLean writes, if you have never picked up a fly rod before, you will soon find it factually and theologically true that man by nature is a damn mess. People are sometimes intimidated to start out, and a lot of people, their, their biggest fear is looking foolish. And the first thing I tell them is, that's a given. You are, you're going to look like a fool. But over at the Bass Pro Shops at Gulf Coast Town Center, they're trying to strip away the mystery and overcome the fear with an ongoing series of free outdoor workshops. Bass Pro Shops is very big on educating the consumer, but not so much for the pr purpose of purchasing, but for the conservation efforts and keeping the outdoors, active activity in the outdoors, a really top priority for all families, children, and even young adults. Having a 22-acre pond stocked with bass and catfish in the backyard and an indoor archery range in the store offers the company a mixed bag of options. We have workshops on fly fishing, canoe and kayak testing, children's archery, intermediate archery, intro to saltwater fishing, and a whole array of all different, including our GPS. Archery, the very word conjures up misty images of days long gone or never been fierce battles and brave warriors, of orcs and elves. The annals of myth and legend are littered with the names of famed archers, William Tell, Apollo, Robin Hood. Well, meet Travis Ward. Travis is only nine years old, so he hasn't yet stepped into the pages of history, but he made an impressive debut at the archery range at Bass Pro Shops. Open your fingers. There you go. Pretty easy, huh? Kids are a key component in the Bass Pro Shops outdoor workshops. One of their main goals is children and trying to enhance, the, keep the future of our natural resources going, but also to get them away from the television, outside fishing, doing archery, trying different things, canoeing, kayaking, all the things that make them a little bit more aware of what's around them, but also get them out to enjoy the, the great outdoors. The workshops introduce some kids to the pleasures that exist beyond iPods and Game Boys. The first time they pick up a bow or a fishing rod can be something of an awakening, a youthful epiphany, if you will. We've actually had that happen quite a few times at our kids fishing on Saturdays, where they come out and I think their parents are a little bit more excited about bringing their children fishing or a grandparent that wants to bring their, ch their grandchildren fishing and we get the children out there and they bait their hooks and they put the hook in the water Tight. and the next thing you know they've caught a big fish and that you can just see how excited they are and they just don't want to go home. Like everything else, archery has gone through a technological revolution since the day Robin of Loxley first knocked a feathered shaft onto his longbow. So workshops for beginning archers, children and adults, make sense. You're going to make a Boy Scout salute, three fingers. Okay, you take those three fingers, you're gonna put it underneath that string, underneath the arrow. You're gonna draw it back. You're gonna look down the shaft. Then you're gonna open those fingers up and the arrow's gonna release. If fly casting is somewhat intimidating for the uninitiated, climbing into a tiny kayak can be downright terrifying, right? Well, that's one of those outdoor myths that Rhonda Watkins wants to shatter. 
actually isn't. That's actually the bigger mystery and uh, fallacy is that kayaking is difficult. Many people think that if they get in a kayak, they're going to tip over and they're not going to be able to get out. And for most people that have gone canoeing, they'll find kayaking is much more easy than even canoeing. And as in fishing and archery, there is no minimum age for fledgling kayakers. I've had kids that are eight, nine, ten years old out here in their own kayaks and just love it as much as the parents. It's a great family activity, it's great exercise, and you get out and enjoy nature at the same time. And for those who want to do more than just paddle, kayaking can open doors close to most anglers. I've done freshwater, I've done saltwater, uh, I've gone out in the Gulf, and I love to fish. So it's a great way to get out and, and get to those fish that most boaters can't get to. I would encourage people to come out and try the kayaks because uh, it, once they see it and once they're in it, any fear that they had of kayaking is almost gone instantly. And I've never met a person that has tried kayaking and not liked it. So, shooting an arrow is a fairly straightforward operation, pardon the pun, and paddling a kayak is easy. But fly casting, fly casting is subtle, complex, difficult to master. People, they'll look at me cast and they'll say, oh, I, I, I see it's all in the wrist. And then other people say, oh, I see it's all in your arm. It's actually both. And that's, that's what is the tricky part about teaching fly casting is that it's, it's not one thing. People always look for an absolute. It's like, okay, I got it now. But it's a little of this and it's a little of that. And, and it's, uh, it's all motions that, that people can do. They're just not used to doing it. Everybody can cast. They just don't know they can cast. To some, fly fishing is like a religious experience, and all other types of angling border on heresy. Again, Norman McLean's words in A River Runs Through It. In our family, there was no clear line between religion and fly fishing. Joe Mahler says he caught the fly fishing bug from his father when he was 14. And he's, he's out there just whipping the water, and I, and I remember saying, that's what I want to do. He says, oh, it, it takes too much patience. And uh, it does take patience, but uh, it, what, what I like about fly fishing is that it's, it's constant movement. You're, you know, even on a day that you, you don't catch anything, you're still casting. And that's a lot of fun. You know, real fly fishermen love to cast. When we get together in, in a parking lot, we're casting. Somebody's got a rod in their car. Learning, like art, is found in many venues. Sometimes a classroom, sometimes a lake. But a lesson learned is still a lesson learned, regardless of the setting. The lessons today were, were amazing. I, I uh, within 20 minutes, learned what I was doing wrong and have, have already started to correct it. After taking the seminar today, I should be able to go out and connect with fish a little better. The parts of fly fishing that I like the most have nothing to do with fish. It, it's about the, about the people that do it and the, the motion, the, the rhythm, the, the practice, the perfection. There is no such thing as a perfect cast. I made a couple I think were pretty good, but we all strive for that perfect cast. Every day